Richard Eritz Smalley June 6, 1943, to October 28, 2005, was the Jean and Norman Hackerman Professor of Chemistry and a Professor of Physics and Astronomy at Rice University, in Houston, Texas. In 1996, along with Robert Curl, also a professor of chemistry at Rice, and Harold Croto, a professor at the University of Sussex, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery of a new form of carbon, Buckminster fullerene, also known as buckyballs. He was an advocate of nanotechnology and its applications. <laughs> Early life and education Smalley, the youngest of four siblings, was born in Akron, Ohio on June 6, 1943 to Frank Dudley Smalley, Jr., and Esther Virginia Rhodes. He grew up in Kansas City, Missouri. Richard Smalley credits his father, mother and aunt as formative influences in industry, science and chemistry. His father, Frank Dudley Smalley, Jr. worked with mechanical and electrical equipment and eventually became CEO of a trade journal for farm implements called Implement and Tractor. His mother, Esther Rhodes Smalley, completed her B.A. degree while Richard was a teenager. She was particularly inspired by mathematician Norman N. Royal, Jr., who taught foundations of physical science, and communicated her love of science to her son through long conversations and joint activities. Smalley's mother's sister, pioneering woman chemist Sarah Jane Rhodes, interested Smalley in the field of chemistry, letting him work in her organic chemistry laboratory, and suggesting that he attend Hope College, which had a strong chemistry program. Smalley attended Hope College for two years before transferring to the University of Michigan, where he received his Bachelor of Science in 1965. Between his studies, he worked in industry, where he developed his unique managerial style. He received his Doctor of Philosophy PhD from Princeton University in 1973 with Professor E. R. Bernstein. He did postdoctoral work at the University of Chicago from 1973 to 1976, with Donald Levy and Leonard Wharton where he was a pioneer in the development of supersonic beam laser spectroscopy. Topic. Career In 1976, Smalley joined Rice University. In 1982, he was appointed to the Jean and Norman Hackerman Chair in Chemistry at Rice. He helped to found the Rice Quantum Institute in 1979, serving as chairman from 1986 to 1996. In 1990, he became also a professor in the Department of Physics. In 1990, he helped to found the Center for Nanoscale Science and Technology. In 1996, he was appointed its director, he became a member of the National Academy of Sciences in 1990, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1991. Fullerenes Smalley's research in physical chemistry investigated formation of inorganic and semiconductor clusters using pulsed molecular beams and time-of-flight mass spectrometry. As a consequence of this expertise, Robert Curl introduced him to Harry Croto in order to investigate a question about the constituents of astronomical dust. These are carbon-rich grains expelled by old stars such as R. coronae borealis. The result of this collaboration was the discovery of C60 known as buckyballs and the fullerenes as the third allotropic form of carbon. The research that earned Croto, Smalley and Curl the Nobel Prize mostly comprised three articles. First was the discovery of C60 in the November 14, 1985, issue of Nature, C60, Buckminster Fullerene. The second article detailed the discovery of the endohedral fullerenes in lanthanum complexes of spheroidal carbon shells in the Journal of the American Chemical Society, 1985. The third announced the discovery of the fullerenes in reactivity of large carbon clusters, spheroidal carbon shells and their possible relevance to the formation and morphology of soot in the Journal of Physical Chemistry 1986. .Although only three people can be cited for a Nobel Prize, graduate students James R. Heath, Yuan Liu, and Sean C. O'Brien participated in the work. Smalley mentioned Heath and O'Brien in his Nobel lecture. Heath went on to become a professor at California Institute of Technology Caltech, and O'Brien joined Texas Instruments and is now at Memtronics. Yuan Liu is a senior staff scientist at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. This research is significant for the discovery of a new allotrope of carbon known as a fullerene. Other allotropes of carbon include graphite, diamond and graphene. 
Harry Croto's 1985 paper entitled C60, Buckminster Fullerene, published with colleagues J. R. Heath, S. C. O'Brien, R. F. Curl, and R. E. Smalley, was honored by a Citation for Chemical Breakthrough Award from the Division of History of Chemistry of the American Chemical Society, presented to Rice University in 2015. The discovery of fullerenes was recognized in 2010 by the designation of a National Historic Chemical Landmark by the American Chemical Society at the Richard E. Smalley Institute for Nanoscale Science and Technology at Rice University in Houston, Texas. Topic nanotechnology Following nearly a decade's worth of research into the formation of alternate fullerene compounds e.g. C28, C70, as well as the synthesis of endohedral metallofullerenes M at C60, reports of the identification of carbon nanotube structures led Smalley to begin investigating their iron-catalyzed synthesis. As a consequence of these researches, Smalley was able to persuade the administration of Rice University under then-President Malcolm Gillis to create Rice Center for Nanoscale Science and Technology CNST, focusing on any aspect of molecular nanotechnology. It was renamed the Richard E. Smalley Institute for Nanoscale Science and Technology after Smalley's death in 2005, and has since merged with the Rice Quantum Institute, becoming the Smalley Curl Institute in 2015. Smalley's latest research was focused on carbon nanotubes, specifically focusing on the chemical synthesis side of nanotube research. He is well known for his group's invention of the high-pressure carbon monoxide HIPCO method of producing large batches of high-quality nanotubes. Smalley spun off his work into a company, Carbon Nanotechnologies Inc. and Associated Nanotechnologies. Topic dispute on molecular assemblers He was an outspoken skeptic of the idea of molecular assemblers, as advocated by K. Eric Drexler. His main scientific objections, which he termed the fat fingers problem and the sticky fingers problem, argued against the feasibility of molecular assemblers being able to precisely select and place individual atoms. He also believed that Drexler's speculations about apocalyptic dangers of molecular assemblers threatened the public support for development of nanotechnology. He debated Drexler in an exchange of letters which were published in Chemical and Engineering News as a point-counterpoint feature. Topic advocacy Starting in the late 1990s, Smalley advocated for the need for cheap, clean energy, which he described as the number one problem facing humanity in the 21st century. He described what he called the terawatt challenge, the need to develop a new power source capable of increasing our energy output by a minimum factor of two, the generally agreed upon number, certainly by the middle of the century, but preferably well before that. He also presented a list entitled, Top 10 Problems of Humanity for Next 50 Years. It can be interesting to compare his list, in order of priority, to the 10 threats formulated by the UN's High Level Threat Panel in 2004. Smalley's list, in order of priority, was, energy water food environment poverty terrorism and war disease education democracy population Smalley regarded several problems as interlinked, the lack of people entering the fields of science and engineering, the need for an alternative to fossil fuels, and the need to address global warming. He felt that improved science education was essential, and strove to encourage young students to consider careers in science. His slogan for this effort was Be a Scientist, Save the World. Smalley was a leading advocate of the National Nanotechnology Initiative in 2003. Suffering from hair loss and weakness as a result of his chemotherapy treatments, Smalley testified before the congressional testimonies, arguing for the potential benefits of nanotechnology in the development of targeted cancer therapies. Bill 189, the 21st Century Nanotechnology Research and Development Act, was introduced in the Senate on January 16, 2003 by Senator Ron Wyden, passed the Senate on November 18, 2003, and at the House of Representatives the next day with a 405-19 vote. President George W. Bush signed the act into law on December 3, 2003, as Public Law 108-153. Smalley was invited to attend. Topic personal life Smalley was married four times, to Judith Grace Sempiri 1968-1978, Mary L. Chapisky 1980-1994, Jonel M. Chauvin 1997-1998 and Deborah Sheffield 2005, and had two sons, Chad Richard Smalley born June 8, 1969 and Preston Reed Smalley born August 8, 1997. In 1999, Smalley was diagnosed with cancer. 
Smalley died of leukemia, variously reported as non Hodgkin's lymphoma and chronic lymphocytic leukemia, on October 28, 2005, at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas, at the age of 62. Upon Smalley's death, the U.S. Senate passed a resolution to honor Smalley, crediting him as the father of nanotechnology. Topic Christianity During final years, Smalley, who had taken classes in religion as well as science at Hope College, rediscovered his Christian foundation in later life, particularly during his final final years while battling cancer. During the final year of his life, Smalley wrote, Although I suspect I will never fully understand, I now think the answer is very simple, it's true. God did create the universe about 13.7 billion years ago, and of necessity has involved himself with his creation ever since. At the Tuskegee University's 79th Annual Scholarship Convocation, Parents Recognition Program he was quoted making the following statement regarding the subject of evolution while urging his audience to take seriously their role as the higher species on this planet. Genesis was right, and there was a creation, and that creator is still involved. We are the only species that can destroy the earth or take care of it and nurture all that live on this very special planet. I'm urging you to look on these things. For whatever reason, this planet was built specifically for us. Working on this planet is an absolute moral code. Let's go out and do what we were put on earth to do. Old earth creationist and astronomer Hugh Ross spoke at Smalley's funeral, November 2, 2005. Topic publications Smalley, R.E. Supersonic bare metal cluster beams. Final Report, Rice University, United States Department of Energy, Office of Energy Research, October 14, 1997. Smalley, R. E. Supersonic Bare Metal Cluster Beams. Technical Progress Report, March 16, 1984 to April 1, 1985, Rice University, United States Department of Energy, Office of Basic Energy Sciences, January 1, 1985. Topic honors Topic Fellowships Harold W. Dodds Fellow, Princeton University, 1973 Alfred P. Sloan Fellow, 1978-1980 Fellow of the American Physical Society, 1987 Fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, 2003 Topic Awards and Prizes Irving Langmuir Prize in Chemical Physics, American Physical Society, 1991 Popular Science Magazine Grand Award in Science and Technology, 1991 APS International Prize for New Materials, 1992 Joint with R. F. Curl and H. W. Croto Ernest O. Lawrence Memorial Award, U.S. Department of Energy, 1992 Welch Award in Chemistry, Robert A. Welch Foundation, 1992 Auburn GM Kasolipov Award, Auburn Section, American Chemical Society, 1992 Southwest Regional Award, American Chemical Society, 1992 William H. Nichols Medal, New York Section, American Chemical Society, 1993 The John Scott Award, City of Philadelphia, 1993 Hewlett Packard Europhysics Prize, European Physical Society, 1994 with Wolfgang Kretschmer, Don Huffman and Harold Croto Harrison Howe Award, Rochester Section, American Chemical Society, 1994 Madison Marshall Award, North Alabama Section, American Chemical Society, 1995 Franklin Medal, The Franklin Institute, 1996 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, 1996 Distinguished Civilian Public Service Award, Department of the Navy, 1997 American Carbon Society Medal, 1997 Top 75 Distinguished Contributors, Chemical and Engineering News, 1998 Lifetime Achievement Award, Small Times Magazine, 2003 Glenn T. Seaborg Medal, University of California at Los Angeles, 2002 Distinguished Alumni Award, Hope College, 2005 50th, Anniversary Visionary Award, SPI, International Society for Optical Engineering, 2005 National Historic Chemical Landmark, American Chemical Society, 2010 Citation for Chemical Breakthrough Award, Division of History of Chemistry, American Chemical Society, 2015 Top Topic references Topic External links Smalley Curl Institute, Rice University Smalley Group, Rice University Richard E. Smalley, Biographical. Nobelprize.org. Brief autobiography, from the Nobel Foundation website interview, Nobel Prize winner Dr. Richard Smalley, PBS Online NewsHour, The Future of Fuel, Advances in Hydrogen Fuel Technology Energy, The 50-Year Plan at the Wayback Machine Archived August 7, 2007 Chemistry.org Croto, Harold, January 2006. Richard E. Smalley, Fullerenes. Angawant Chemi International Edition. 45 1, 26-27. 
doi 10.1002 ani.2005040094 Richard E Smalley, Robert F Curl Jr and Harold W Croto Science History Institute <laughs>